As promised, every day during the spooky season, we will drop spooky season related content. I did drop voiceover content today and yesterday, among other content. So go check out my new voiceovers, just some funny stuff I whipped up for you guys. But today's question brings forth a foundation, a universe we have not talked about since last spooky season, and that is SCP. If you guys want more SCP content, you got to show love with the smashing of the like button and the comments in the comment section down below, especially your takes on this topic. For today, we will ask ourselves this. Could the infamous SCP Foundation, which has dealt with innumerable amounts of bullshit in terms of science fiction, threats, and other high-tier targets, could they capture the infamous Doomsday from DC Comics? I will break down what both are capable of, and then we will get into could the foundation catch them. With that being said, I hope you guys are excited for this video. And again, if you want more SCP content, you got to let me know with the likes and the comments. But with that out the way, let's get into it. So first up, we are going to review Doomsday and what he brings to the table. We will be considering DC Comics mainline universe Doomsday and everything he has accomplished up to now, including his recent showings in Action Comics. Now, Doomsday is the antithesis, the absolute opposite to what Superman is. As Superman is the hope that extends throughout the entirety of DC's framework and cosmology, we see Doomsday is the opposite to that. He is the anti-hope, the Doomsday, the end and the destruction. He is the one that shows up and crushes your hope. In terms of feats, even early on in literally his first showing, as a being bred to literally adapt to everything that can hurt and kill him, Doomsday went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Justice League, other heroes of Earth, other heroes throughout the universe, and even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, the infamous, you know, plot armor device himself. Even Superman, as admitted in recent comics, went all out in their first encounter, nearly dying himself, going into a coma as he put away Doomsday temporarily. Doomsday would later come back, and this same Superman would need a mother box amp, as well as help from characters he never teams up with, like Darkseid, to take on Doomsday, as even Doomsday had showed up on Apocalypse and absolutely destroyed Darkseid. Now, in the end, Superman wasn't even able to defeat him, not even Darkseid. They had to team up with the Linear Men and send him off to be afar at the end of all time, space, and stories. When they did this, however, it did not keep Doomsday away, as it is incredibly difficult to keep Doomsday from coming back. He came back from the removal of, from everything, essentially, from existence, to being put in the Phantom Zone, a place where your physical body cannot even manifest. He physically broke out of the Phantom Zone, even though there's nothing physical there. That's absolute bullshit, but then again, it's Doomsday. On top of this, he has such a crazy resistance to BFR now that when he was sent to hell, he created this mental connection to the likes of Martian Manhunter, and it also allowed Doomsday to adapt to being BFR to send to places like hell. For if you even think of Doomsday, the idea of Doomsday, it will bring him back. He will return full force to devastate the universe again. In hell, he was stronger than all the hell lords and he adapted to infinite methods of killing and torture to put him down. This did nothing except for amp him up and make him extremely powerful. This allowed him to even physically bully the likes of Supergirl who is wearing an armor designed to take on the presence. In the end, we have seen Doomsday reach absolutely insane peaks of power, including coming back from just the mere memory or idea of himself to where even Hell Lords like First of the Fallen can't take him on directly and are not quite sure how to put him down. They can hope to only temporarily restrain him or hold him back. But we've gotten Doomsday out of the way. Let's talk about what the SCP Foundation is capable of. Now, what is this infamous SCP Foundation I keep referencing? Well, this is a fictional metaverse that was created by fans to essentially make a horror-based, that eventually did break off into different things, but a horror-based multiverse that talks about the things the SCP Foundation has to encounter and take care of. These being threats to the world, the human race, 
They're supernatural in nature, some even demonic, angelic, all types of things that you could think of. The SCP has had to deal with that bullshit. Now, let's go over what's at their disposal and things they have handled throughout the years. First of all, just in terms of being overpowered, and again, shout out my guy Dan for helping me uh, assemble all the stuff on SCP. The Foundation is so extreme in their power and what they've had to handle throughout the years that they literally use a black hole, which for reference is SCP-123. And they use this as a trash can for what they are working with. A literal fucking black hole is their trash can, okay? These are not typical scientists and researchers that we are used to. These are characters that have gotten stronger throughout the years because they have to deal with crazier and crazier shit. There is also something called a record. Now, this is a record that the Foundation has access to and can use. This is an anomaly within the Foundation's database. Anything written within it, which is SCP-001, this slot of the database, all information becomes real upon using it. What's that mean? Well, you could technically write something in here to mess with someone's narrative, their fate, their destiny, how they work. You could even, you know, write in a way to kill them. Now, they've used extreme levels of power like this on characters like SCP-682, who is famously compared to the likes of Doomsday. By the way, if you want to see that matchup or you want to see Doomsday against SCP monsters, let me know in the comments down below. But this, when used on 682, was not able to take him down. Instead, it distorted reality up to affecting the medium we use to read the SCP, the actual wiki itself. So literally the battle will go up to fictional transcendence when using a method like this. And if a character can resist up to that, they will stop using it because obviously at that point it becomes pretty much useless and uncontrollable to the SCP. That's an insane uh, level of existence. Now, a character named Mary also used this same article to become God, including control over timelines, space, and even stories. So power they have at their disposal can grant characters essentially God status. They also can be considered as having an insurmountable omnikinetic force. This is by the same foundation which defeated SCP-3125, which is a platonic idea in the new sphere. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck. I pronounce stuff wrong all the time. Now, what is this fear? Why do platonic concepts matter? Well, in this instance, they are using platonic forms to encapsulate perfect ideas and forms beyond time, space, dimensions, even Aleph numbers, which are infinite, uncountable hierarchies. It's an insane mathematical degree of scaling. Essentially, the fans when creating this are pulling out all the stops when it comes to scaling. This is at least outer to high outer. We then have SCP-6820. This is a sentient reality warping neural network designed to remove ideas from the collective unconsciousness. It can manipulate the space-time narrative continuum. This continuum for reference is something we refer to as an infinitely complicated story. Things that are both logical and illogical exist here. Non-stories, stories themselves, they can take place here. This narrative continuum contains the new sphere, SCP-5800, the semiosphere, and many other anomalies. This essentially means all things you can think of logical and illogical can exist here and function here. Now, what does this mean for the SCP's capabilities in terms of the Foundation? This means that they have, at worst, a method of extreme BFR that can send you behind, behind and beyond even Aleph numbers, platonic concepts, anti-ideas, ideas themselves. An insane amount of scaling can be applied to this form of use with 6820. So overall, even if the SCP can't contain stuff, it does have methods of extreme BFR and can even potentially manipulate a battle between yourself and some other extreme entity. With that out of the way, briefly going over both sides to this equation, how do I think this would go down? And how do you guys think this would go down? If Doomsday appeared in the SCP verse and they had to attempt to contain it, how would this work? Well, I want to go over several aspects of this. For one, 
If this was an earlier Doomsday, perhaps the earliest Doomsday, the OG, I think this would be a lot easier of a case for the SCP Foundation. At this point in the SCP's lore, they've dealt with outer to even high outer threats. If they can't beat them, they can outright BFR them or pit them against another SCP. So they've become quite more capable over time. This makes it interesting, but at the same time, when we look at current Doomsday, the fact he was pretty much above all the other Hell Lords, he adapted to the point that he will return just off the memory or idea of him. You can't know of him, think of him, or anything like that. There is a lot of potential for Doomsday to just actively come back. This also gets into something that's very important to address in this particular case. We are talking about containing, then being able to subdue and keep in containment the likes of current Doomsday. I'm sorry, I just don't see that happening. I don't see them having the capability of keeping a powerhouse like current Doomsday, who easily has high outer scaling, just like the threats SCP face. He easily could break down anything they try to contain him in and go from there. So I don't see them actually being able to contain him. But they have a couple other options that are very interesting. Their BFR methods and the SCPs they use to BFR or battlefield remove is absolutely insane. And typically that's the best way to try to deal with Doomsday. So I definitely feel they have a chance of BFRing him when they have to do so. On top of this, there are other SCPs they could try to instigate a war with between them and Doomsday throughout the verse. So there's other options there as well. But that would be another situation entirely and would require a different video. In conclusion, I don't feel like they could contain current Doomsday. I do feel like they have other methods to deal with him, but in terms of actually containing and keeping within the Foundation, no, that's not going to be an option with current Doomsday. He would break out, he would adapt. No way they could hold him. He was about to break out a seal that would alert the presence. Like, it's ridiculous. However, there are other interesting aspects to this. For example, him against the other top tiers of SCP and putting him through a gauntlet of that as well as how he would deal with getting BFR'd and what he would deal with from there. There's a lot of ways we could go with this in a follow-up video, so definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I feel like people think I don't believe SCP is strong. It's definitely high outer to bounds. I, I'm not taking credit away from that. It's just not as fun for me to read as other verses because a lot of the stuff is just like fan-made things thrown in all over the place but again if you guys love the content i'm willing to dive more into it so definitely let me know and anyways it's been your boy jobbers and goons enjoy the spooky season and i'll see y'all later peace